so he was worse than me. He wasn't in my crash, he was in another one, so he was, I was like, at least I didn't break anything. And then you hear him. Here comes Sway Lively coming up. <laughs> and you're like, oh shoot, no, I can't get off and walk. So we just did a little test ride. We did about eight miles of the bike course, which the first eight to 12 miles is straight uphill. So it was nice to get out and feel that. And it feels exactly like the VQ. Um, the, we loaded the whole course course, course, ride. course ride on Vision Quest Coffee Trainer and it feels exactly the same, so I'm glad I did that. Number 556, a brilliant coach. She's also done an Ultraman Canada before and as a former USAT All-American, that is Consuela, or Sway Lively. Number 6.2 miles, should be fun, Trung's going to take care of me, I'm glad he'll be there with me. And then Brooke and Raya will be waiting for me when I get out of the water, I can have my bike and everything ready, and we're going to ride 90 miles all the way to Volcano, um, um, Big Island. <laughs> So he's on his way back to getting there. So as soon as he gets there, he was jumping the boat. Yes, I watch out for alligators as well. I know what they look like. And then from there is uh, there'll be a navigation fighting with Mariah to make sure that we don't get lost. <laughs> Day one is over. It was hard. A hard day. The swim, actually, I enjoyed the swim. It was very beautiful. Um, I felt like I had a current up my back the entire swim until we turned left and came in. And then I was fighting the current. But that was only for maybe half a mile. So it was really, really good. I was definitely faster than I thought I'd be, which made me happy. Um, the bike was awesome until the last 20 miles, which were all uphill. Very difficult way to finish a, finish a ride. So if you see on my head there, on the top of my head, that's my sunburn through my helmet. <laughs> so we started in the rain on a 25 mile downhill. Um, it was quite windy as well starting off and the, the race director advised us the first 20 miles were non-race because of the weather conditions and there was a tree in the middle of the road. Mentally I had to dig in deep and just know that I had my crew there and just spend my legs nice and easy and keep going. From there I started picking everybody off one at a time. make a turn and it's wind coming from the side and it's 50 miles per hour and you're going up the hill and the wind would catch me and just take me across the road and I'd have to lean into it. It was very dangerous. You had cars going by you and they didn't think about the fact that the wind might catch you and bring you into them. They just go flying by. The scariest point of all, the, the wind caught me and it just blew me right over and I was would have literally gone off the road if my daughter hadn't been right there at that very second and someone was looking out for me because if she hadn't been there I would have just blown right over.
Well, it's, it's the challenge of the race. It really takes you mentally, this race particularly, to places you've never been. You have to dig deep and remember why you're out there, what, what your goals are, who you're trying to support. Um, and for me, knowing that I'm trying to support girls on the run and, and bring awareness to girls that need a mentor type person that just helped me get through every mile that I rode and ran and swam <laughs> over the last three days. <laughs>